In today's video, we'll be looking at the pros and cons of the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. This breed's original purpose was to be a gun dog and aid in hunting, but they've been a favourite family pet in the UK for decades. Just what is this dog made of? Let's find out. Welcome back to the Fenrir Spaniel Show. My name's Franny and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about Spaniels. Then how to become high level canine leaders that can raise perfect Spaniels. So if you're a lifelong Spaniel lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new Spaniel, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Spaniel video. So let's dive into today's video and we'll see just what the amazing Carver Spaniel is made of. It's no surprise that the Carver Spaniel is popular as a companion animal today. These dogs are well known for their even temperament and good nature. They're great with even the youngest of children. They're sweet in nature and extremely tolerant of young kids who might be a little bit too rough and try to tug on their ears or tail. This also helps to make them an ideal first time pet as they're loyal but never overly demanding. This breed is known for their good behaviour, they're also extremely social. They're good with other dogs and small pets such as cats. Of course, socialisation should always start as early as possible to maximise success. It's the key to having a confident, relaxed and well-rounded adult dog. The Cava Spaniel isn't too demanding in the exercise department either. They'll need a minimum of an hour walk every other day. This breed is known to gain extra pounds if left to their own devices. They can be rather lazy and will happily sit on the sofa all day if allowed. Though they're still a spaniel and will need plenty of mental simulation to keep them happy. They can easily become bored and it can lead to destructive and unwanted behaviours around the house. This breed will enjoy canine sports such as agility, flyball and rally. Some of this breed even make excellent hunting dogs. All of these activities will keep your cava mentally stimulated and busy. Cava spaniels are intelligent and undemanding which makes them quite easy to train. You'll find that they're easier to train than many other Spaniels and other dog breeds in general. They're eager to learn new commands and to please, while also being extremely affectionate which makes them ideal for first time dog owners. Despite this, it's always best to start training as early as possible in a dog's life. This gives them the best chance at success and the most time to be properly socialised. This leads us into grooming. Cava Spaniels are known to be high at maintenance when it comes to grooming. Their long coats will need daily brushing to keep them free of mats as well as dirt and debris. The feathers on their legs and hair between their toes will also need to be trimmed regularly. If left alone, these sections of fur will become matted. It's recommended that this breed is professionally groomed about every three months. This will make it much easier to keep up with their demanding coat at home. It also ensures that they're properly bathed a few times a year, which might be plenty with them being a rather inactive breed. Though if they do get muddy or dirty, extra bathing may be necessary. It's important to make sure this breed's ears stay dry as well because damp ears can easily become infected. Cava Spaniels are also known to be a very healthy dog breed. They aren't known to have many of the health issues associated with being purebred. Though they are known to have heart problems. But the good news is many of these conditions can be screened for before the Spaniel is introduced into a breeding program, which puts puppies at a much lower risk. Mitral valve disease is the top heart problem to be on the lookout for. It's caused when plaque accumulates in the valves of the heart and causes them to become deformed. This then leads to blood being harder to pump because it flows backwards. In the end, it can lead to a congestive heart failure. Syringomyelia is another problem to be on the lookout for. It's caused when an obstruction prevents the normal flow of cerebrospinal fluid from the brain to the spinal cord. The fluid is then forced into the spinal cord where it creates fluid filled pockets that can lead to nerve damage. And like other spaniels, they're prone to eye conditions such as hereditary cataracts and multifocal retinal dysplasia. So to recap, the pros for this breed are that they're great for any family, great with small children, low demand as far as exercise is considered, easy to train and very lovable, all of which make them the ideal dog for first time owners. The cons of this breed are that they need a lot of grooming and can suffer from some pretty serious health problems and they are prone to obesity. So just because they don't need a lot of exercise, it doesn't mean you can slack in that department. It's important to this breed's heart health as well as their waistline. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button, get involved in the comment section down below and don't forget, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe as we have three dedicated Spaniel videos coming here every week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Spaniel show.